Alright guys, we're back with another video. Pumped for this one. Recently found this in Target. They had two boxes left for the Crown Xena. Pretty excited for this. Uh, I've heard really good things about this set. Can we get some of the secret rares in this? Oh wow, I actually like, like, I actually like this part of the box better than the sleeve. Obviously the sleeve is pretty dope, but yeah, so pretty nice find. Maybe it was a restock. Did they restock Crown Zenith? I know there's a bunch of products going around that people are finding of this set. I'm gonna look at the V-Star. Got the matching die. Got the little coins in here as well. I'm gonna pull these out. Nice Lucario card sleeves. Yeah, I forgot about this. You get the pretty nice Lucario V-Star promo card. Go ahead and open that up. Let me know down in the comments below if you like Lucario. Really like that card. Currently watching the uh, X and Y series on Hulu. Got the little code card for you. So yeah, watching the X, Y, and series on, uh, on Hulu right now and just was watching that trainer. I uh, forgot her name actually, but she had the Mega Evolution for Lucario. So when I saw this set, definitely had to grab it. Got the dividers in here as well. Really like the red, black, and gold color scheme. Similar color scheme to the Lost Origin set I just opened, but yeah. Top three favorite colors. This one actually comes with 10 packs as well, which is one of the better values that you get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, 10 total packs. Um, so I like that about this set. You used to get 10, and then they would drop it to 8, and then some sets have 9. So yeah, let me know. How many, how many booster packs do you think each ETB should come with? I believe on the uh, Pokemon 151 set, they were talking about how you're gonna get less booster packs in the ETB. So to start it off, V-Star card, got the Digging Duo, Ultra Ball, Salazzle, Grubbin, Squirrelp, Helioptile, Wulu, Jinx. Wow. Nice little Electivire card. That is actually kind of insane. Look at the shimmer on that. Wow. I actually really like that. Anything crazy behind it? A ditto. A holographic ditto. That is actually kind of crazy. I really like this card, to be honest. I'm uh, looking over here on the TCG website. I just like to pull these cards up just to kind of check on rarity levels and you know market price just because these are all new sets for me. But I don't think these are gonna be anything crazy in this set. Pretty uh pretty basic cards. I'll um put those in sleeves in a second but yeah, I'm just scrolling through, went to the third page, don't really see those cards up there. Let's just go ahead and hop right into the next one. But yeah, did you uh, enjoy the Crown Zenith set? Is it one of your favorites from the Sword and Shield era? I think it's some of people's more popular sets. I'm uh, still trying to go through all the older sword and shield eras just so I can kind of get a good idea of what sets I like best. So far I've liked the Crown Zenith, I like the Lost Origin, I like Brilliant Stars, I enjoy Astral Radiance, got a signed Reverse Trainer Hop card, followed by a non hollow I think... Some of the other sets I want to dive into. 
I'm actually not even sure to be honest. I'm really looking forward to the new ones that are coming out, the Obsidian Flames. I know we keep talking about it a lot in that 151. Everyone's hyped up for that 151. Energy Switch, Trekking Shoes, Lunatone, Execute, Energy Retrieval, Emolga, Love Disc, Chetox. Oh, nice. A full art Oricorio. That is kind of crazy. I actually want to search for this one. Followed by non hollow I'm gonna look this one up. Crown Zenith, Galarian Gallery, Hollow Rare, Full Art. Not valued at anything crazy, I think it's 75 cents. But uh, I really like the coloration on these. I like how many uh, packs that come in this ETB. It makes it feel a little more worth it. I think I paid like $55, which is Target retail. I think Target in general is a little more expensive than most other places that you can find stuff, but they tend to have some of the best stock, in my opinion, to go shop in person. Obviously, you can shop online and find better deals, which I do do stuff online for certain things, but you know, it's just fun to go out every once in a while and shop around in person, see what you can find. Reverse Hollow, followed by non Hollow Lux Ray. I like going out, public shopping. But it's always good to find deals. I'm searching around on Facebook Marketplace all the time, see what people got as far as like sealed products, shopping at local stores, secret stores, online, you know, whatever you can find. Soul Rock, Matang, Digging Duo, Aeron, Corfish, Energy Shirt, Scyther, really like that artwork on there, Iolu, Full Holographic Energy, really like that card, and non holo Scissor. I've been opening a couple different boxes today, really haven't got any crazy cards. I did pull a gold super rod from the Paldea Evolved set yesterday, which I thought was really nice. That's uh, in a video that should be posted already for this one. At the time of me recording this, that one is still being edited. But let's keep flying through these. Really would love to just get something awesome, like mind blowing, you know? I'm sure that's what we all hope for, but the chase to find them is what gets us going. Nice full art mill tank. I feel like overall, this set does have some pretty good pulls, which I've heard is kind of the case with this, followed by nothing nice mill tank though i mean the shine the shine on this is like insane look at that put that over in the sleep club as well let's keep it going i think i have four more packs left still haven't pulled anything absolutely insane Got a little pinch them right there on the front. Love that card. Four. So these are most familiar to me just because I'm watching that uh, X and Y series. Electric, pinch them, switch, snow runt, larvesta, tangela, reverse crushing hammer, and a non hollow kangaroo. Moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. I actually just found the uh, water energy pull art over there on the listing for valued at $4.89. Not bad. Code card. 
keep it moving. Energy, water, great ball, Shinx, Larvesta, Oddish, Seal, Potion, and a full art Paris, followed by a hollow Zacian. Pretty nice. I'm getting quite a bit of cool full art cards. Nothing like the Giratina cards or even like the origin form, I believe, uh, Palkia's. That would actually be insane. Got two packs left, definitely still possible. Can we do it? Definitely like to think we can. Moving on. Second to last pack right here. Come on, we can do it. Put a card for you. One, two, three, four. Come on, guys. Oh, I just saw a flicker of something. Energy. Gloom. Great ball. Graveler. Energy search. Grubbin. Scrub. Woo woo. Oh my gosh. Helioptile. Almost ruined it. Reverse Agron into. Ah, uh, that's the one that I saw the shimmer on the back. Into a non hollow. Again. I believe I just pulled that card. We need some last pack magic right here. Last pack for the Crown Zenith ETB. If you enjoyed the video so far, definitely hit that like button. Got a couple of nice pulls there in the back. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I've got a lot of products that I'm currently sitting on, as well as new products that are coming out that I will have videos of in the future. Let's finish it off with this last pack though and pull something absolutely insane. Tangela, Ball Toy, Galarian Meowth. I think these Galarian Meowths look so funny. Whalmer, Reverse, selling it. Last card for the last pack. Can we do something? Oh my, absolutely a bummer. Non holo. <laughs> but let's go ahead and recap on some of these pulls. Got the nice little ditto there in the back. I really like that card. It just kind of just funny looking, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at what we got in today's Crown Zenith Elite Trainer. Obviously you got the Black Star promo, Lucario V-Star, really nice card. Got the Full Art Paris, Zacian Hollow, Full Art Miltank, Full Art Oricorio, got the Holographic Water Energy card, and the Full Art Electivire, which I believe this, funny enough, is the highest valued card that I pulled in today's set. But yeah, Crown Zenith ETB, do you think it's worth it? Is it one of your favorite sets? Let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Peace.